Are you thinking of getting backable in the surrounding areas? But you're gonna to wanna to watch this video. We are gonna cover the pros and the cons so you know exactly what to expect to your back. So after watching this video, you may just love to live here. Or maybe you won't. There's only one way to find out. Let's go. Hi, I'm Lindsay Ratliff. I'm Brandon Ratliff. We're a husband and wife real estate team here in Northern California who specialize in Solano County. Now, this is your first time to our channel and you want to learn a little bit more about Solano County from the local hotspots all the way up to the real estate, go ahead and subscribe and tap that bell for notifications. Yes, we've been living in Solano County for over 10 years now. We've been helping people just like you buy, sell, and invest in real estate and we absolutely love it. We do. So whether you're thinking of the next nine days or 90 days, we want to be a go-to resource. We want to be of help. So give us a call, text, email, or even schedule a Zoom meeting in the description and I'll link below. Right below. All right, so let's get at it. We are going to start with the pros for the world for positive people. Now, pro number one, location. Location, location, location. I mean, we are only 35 minutes away from the state capital, Sacramento, and about 45 minutes to an hour away from San Francisco, not to mention 35 minutes away from wine country, the lovely Napa Valley. And if you love to go to the snow, you love to go mountain biking or all the fun stuff, Tahoe is only two and a half hours away and you are only about an hour and a half away from the beach. So literally anything you want to do, you can do it here. And it's really nice. We've enjoyed it. Just the other weekend when it got a little hot here, we went out to the coast, had a lovely coastal hike. And these are things that you can just do day of, come back, and it's not a big deal. In fact, you can do all this stuff in one day. I mean, you can be at the beach one hour. You can be in the city the next. You can be, you know, in Tahoe. It's pretty extraordinary. And it's one of the things that is a huge pro about Vacaville. Pro number two, community. Just the size of Vacaville, you know, we have a population size of 100,000 people, but it's that perfect fill. Mm -hmm. I would say it's that Goldilocks, right? It's not too small, it's not too big, it's just right. It's the perfect sandwich. It's the perfect condiment to meat cheese ratio. Oh, that's so many analogies. <laughs> You're not gonna have, you know, raging nightclub scene here, which honestly, we don't mind. You can go to Sacramento or San Francisco for that. And it's not gonna be so small to where you know everybody's name, but it is nice because you do see people around town that you know, right? So you do still have that sense of community, but you also still have some sense of privacy as well. And that's one of the things that I think is really nice about Vacaville. Yeah, so if you're looking for that small town feel, Vacaville, you know, it's probably not going to be the best fit. You may want to look into Dixon, mm -hmm. but again, I think it's the perfect mesh of both big and small together here in Vacaville. So that brings us to pro number three, and those are this amazing school show, the four school schools here that we have in Vacaville, all the way from elementary to high school. You know, we have three high schools in Vacaville, Buckingham High School, we have Wilsey Wood High School and Becca High. Those all have A- minus ratings on niche.com. So great quality of schools. Yes, I mean, Vacaville even touts this online on their website. Vacaville really does take pride in being a family-oriented city, and you can see that in the reflection of the rated schools that we have here. And something else for you to consider, if you're gonna be living in certain pockets of South Vacaville, your children will be going to the Travis Unified School District. Now, even though that school district is in Fairfield, your kids will still get to benefit because that is the number two rated school district in all of Solano County. And that's what I think attracts many families to this area, just the quality of schools and the academics that are put forward here in Vacaville, California. So that brings us to pro number four, the events downtown, of which there are many, and it's one of those things that, again, add to that sense of community here in Vacaville. We really enjoyed all of the events that we've lived here without kids and now with kids. I mean, we have Fiesta days at the very beginning of summer, where you know, there's a lot of parading down the street. We have the carnival the, that comes. All the floats come down, the bands are playing. Mm -hmm. It's very fun. It's a lot of fun. Everybody gets together. It's always a big deal here in Vacaville. Right now, during the summer, we have the Creek Walk concert series. Ooh. Right? Kind of celebratory, <laughs> but live music every Friday. Farmer's Market every Saturday during the spring and summertime. So not to mention during the fall, we have the Halloween Stroll, we have Oktoberfest, and we also have Merriment on May. But if you're looking for things to do, especially if you're here with a family, Vacaville's gonna have plenty of those right downtown. So that brings us to pro number five. Now, if you love wondering where your money's going every week or day, then this is gonna be for you, shops. We have a plethora of shops. We have all the shops you possibly need in Vacaville, California. <laughs> yes, all the shops, okay? <laughs> Walmart, Target, Winco, Costco, Nugget, 
Rayleigh's, Safeway. I mean, I could go on and on. Grocery outlet. You know, you're going to have Home Depot. You're going to have Lowe's. Yeah, and you have all the premium outlets as well. So mm -hmm. you're looking for all your Nike designer. I mean, we have everything. Everything. Lily knows. Yeah, Brandon knows. <laughs> but it is, not only do we have everything, but it's all also conveniently located. I will. Mean, it's all pretty much five minutes off of the freeway, one way or the other. So mm -hmm. you can pretty much get everything done. And I found that to be really convenient and a huge pro of that. She does, and I see it. <laughs> <laughs> and that brings us to our very last pro, pro number six, the affordability of housing. Now, if you are watching this video and you are outside of California, you're probably wondering what the hell are you talking about? These homes may at a medium price of like $600,000 seem really expensive to me. But actually, in California, especially within the Bay Area, Vacaville is known for its incredible affordability, especially when you compare it to places like the Bay Area, like Oakland, Napa, and Benicia. Yeah, exactly, Lily. So when we look at home sales for this year of 2023, you know, Vacaville's median price point is 608000 It's from 338 a square foot mm -hmm. versus, you know, like Napa. Their median price point this year is 850000 That's around 573 a square foot. That is quite a dramatic difference. Right? Yeah, and then we go to Oakland, where the median price so far there is $825,000. And that brings the price per square foot to $625 a square foot. That is almost twice as much as mm -hmm. Vacaville. Mm -hmm. So these are just the reasons why people are coming to Vacaville, why people love Vacaville. It's so affordable. So what's nice about living here in Vacaville is you can still afford your monthly payment here, you're comfortable, but you can still enjoy the experiences that, you know, Napa and Oakland and San Francisco bring you without being strapped to your mortgage. Now, you stay for the pros. Now let's get to the reasons why you might not want to be here. The cons. So that brings us to con number one, and it's the heat, the dreadful heat. I'm it gets melting. hot here. Yeah, nothing is right. <laughs> Everyone's complaining during the summer. They can't wait for summer to come, but they're complaining for summer. Well, how hot are we talking? Super hot. Super hot. <laughs> Four out of the 12 months a year here, the average temperatures are going to be up in the 90s. And that spikes all the way. The highest is in July. The average temperature is 97 degrees. So if you have a problem with heat, especially anything over 90 and above, that will may not be your place, especially in the summertime. It does get a little brutal, and I will say, we've had a pool for the last three years, and I will not do it any other way. It has made Vacaville way nicer and much more enjoyable. And it just depends on where you're from. I'm, some, I'm from Santa Rosa, which is about an hour west of here, so it's a little closer to the coast. This heat was an adjustment for me. I had to really get used to it. Now I am, and again, I have the pool, so that's helpful, but... We've had clients come here and they love the weather. Absolutely. I was born with leather skin, so it doesn't affect me as much, you know? So it just depends on, you know, where you're coming from and your body sensitivities. Yeah, what you're comfortable with. So that brings us to con number two, fire hazard. You know, much like California, Vacaville is in a fire higher risk area. Mm -hmm. Really all of Solano County. I mean, and this is nothing new as we have seen wildfires increase throughout the country. In fact, according to the Washington Post, one in six homeowners live in an area with significant wildfire risk. And well, Vacaville's one of them. We're one of them. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> <laughs> now, it's pretty obvious what the cons of having a wildfire risk are. You got a lot of the smoke, your house might burn down. The fires in the 2020 LNU fires literally came to our backyard. And I gotta tell you, that was a little scary. It was scary. And you know, that just comes with the territory of living here in Vacaville. You know, we are surrounded by beautiful rolling hills. So in the springtime, you know, they're beautifully green. And slowly after that, yep. they get, you know, they get brown, they get dry. With that and heat. The heat and fire, those don't always mesh well. Mm -hmm. So just something to think about. But again, this is nothing different than, say, tornadoes or hurricanes in the Midwest and the East that you have right now. But it does bring us to our next con, con number three, which is home insurance or really the lack of home insurance that you are able to get here. It's just a little bit more challenging here in Vacaville because of the high wildfire risk. And we are finding this true with people who are looking to get homes and current homeowners as well here in Vacaville. And why is this an issue for you? Well, if you're looking to buy a home, you're looking to get a loan, you need home insurance. It's mandatory. The lender will require it. So, you know, having an insurance company uh, being willing to, you know, insure you on that house is going to be vital. Yes. Now it's vital and it's also going to be challenging because many major companies are now pulling back from California, just like they're pulling back 
from Florida with the hurricanes. So it is going to be a little bit more of a challenge. This is something you definitely want to consider. Get a heads up if you're planning on living here, especially again in those areas with high fire risk. I mean, we just did this with our client right now, right, Brandon? Yes. Yes, yeah, so we just got one of our clients into contract. And before that, before we going into escrow, the agent wanted us to, you know, make sure we're not going to have any problems with insurance. Mm -hmm. So we went ahead and got our insurance quote before we even wrote the offer. Mm -hmm. So we already knew the insurance would take it. We knew it was golden. We knew we had the approval. Mm -hmm. And we submitted our offer from there. So that is the kind of climate that we are in here. It's actually very helpful and help us secure this home to put with the offer, not just the pre-approval, but their confirmation of home insurance. So that's just something that you want to be aware of when you move here. It's not going to be necessarily a total no, like you can't get home insurance. Again, it's just going to be a little bit more difficult. So this brings us to con number four, and that is the traffic here. Yes. Yeah, so too we, many people, yes. too many cars. It's California. <laughs> this is just one of those things like the wildfire risk. You're going to be in Vacaville. You're going to be in California. You're going to have traffic. I will say though the silver lining is there's not really traffic within the city itself. I feel like it's designed pretty well. You're not gonna have that issue of it being congested, but Interstate 80, again, that's that major freeway that connects Sacramento all the way to San Francisco. That's where we get a lot of traffic. And Brandon, when do we get all of that traffic? So a lot of that traffic is gonna come from those commuting hours. So early in the morning when people get off work, as well as the summertime. You know, people coming coming to and from Tahoe mm -hmm. we for do vacation. Get that a lot. Sundays, I will say Sundays in Vacaville can be a doozy. Because everyone leaves on Friday to go camping, mm -hmm. we're all suited up, you see everything, all their toolies on top. Um, and then again, coming back on a Sunday is dreadful. And, you know, there are back roads as well to kind of bypass some of this traffic. But at the end of the day, you know, people are going to be here, more people are going to be here. Mm -hmm. um, and there's going to be cars on the road. Everyone has somewhere to go and, you know, just be mindful of it. It is what it is. It is what it is. It's, but there's pros comes the cons. And that brings us to the last con, con number five, the cost of living here. Now, we did mention affordability as a pro, and within California, Vacaville is extremely affordable. However, we're in California, and California just had a high cost of living. I mean, CNBC even did a study and found that California was the second most expensive state to live in, behind only Hawaii. Hawaii. So it's not only the home price that are expensive here, it's also the living expenses that come with living in California. For example, gas prices on average here in California are $5.03 versus Texas is around $3.49. And this is something that you're just gonna see sort of like eke into every expense here in California, along with your utility bills for your house. Mm -hmm. I mean, the US Bureau of Labor even did a study and found that California had the highest utility water bill averaging at $77 month. So there are costs, real costs to living in California that you want to consider before coming or maybe moving to Vacaville itself. But the silver lining about living here in California is the wage, the salary, more money. According to the Bureau of Labor, California is the third highest salary average, mm -hmm. which is huge, which will help you pay for gas, water, <laughs> and all the things we mentioned. All the things we mentioned. <laughs> So that is it right there. That is our video. We hope you enjoyed the pros and the cons of Vacaville and have a little bit better understanding of what to expect if you're thinking of moving to this awesome city. I will say we've been here for 12 years. I love it. Do you love it? Yeah, I love it. And our clients that have come here from out of state, Texas, um, you name it. They haven't moved back. They haven't moved back. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for watching this video. Now, if you're watching this and you feel like we missed a pro and a con for Vacaville, please leave a comment below. Now, we really do hope you enjoyed this content. Now, if you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Tap that bell for notifications. You can be the first to learn what it's like to live in and around Solano County from the awesome local hotspots where we like to eat all the way up to the real estate market here. And as always, we love to be a resource to you. We love to be boots on the ground for you. Feel free to give us a call, text, email, or even schedule a Zoom meeting in the description in the link below. Mm -hmm. We love to meet you face to face. But until the next video, Ratliffs out. out.